taste it. Oh, this is, oh, this is so good. Okay. All right then. So, Sister Carrie, as we were saying there with uh, the prophet Jeremiah, so the King Zedekiah, see, he wanted to put the people back in bondage, back in slavery. You know, this scripture, Carrie, reminded me of Abraham Lincoln. Remember during the Civil War? When he signed the Emancipation Proclamation to set the slaves free, and they all thought they were free, except one state in Texas. I think it was Gaveston, Texas. They didn't get it. That's why we got Jubilee today. See, they everyone was set free, but that state, that city said, no, we ain't setting them free. No, we want them as slaves. We want them as slaves. That wasn't God's image. God didn't make us to be a slave to somebody else. Now, I can no. work for you. I can come and work with you and be a servant for you, be an employee for you, and you treat me right. I'm going to treat you right. But that wasn't their intention. Their intention was to have you in what? Bondage. Just like Bondage. Zedekiah. Just like Zedekiah. Yeah. So he see what happens is, is that they once you see your workforce leaving, all they thinking about is money. We ain't gonna make no money. We're gonna be poor. When the, all the slaves is gone. Yeah, look how you treated them. Say that wasn't God's yeah. image. God didn't. That was that's what He didn't make us. He didn't create us in His image to be a slave to mankind. Wow, huh? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So any thoughts on that? See how the Bible can be right for us today. All we got to do is know our history. When we know our history and what happened then and what's happening today, we'll know what happens tomorrow. Okay. Ooh, that was okay. good right there. That was good. That was right really there. good right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So even with yeah. uh, going way back in uh uh, uh, here in the Bible times, we're still seeing people as uh, slaves today. Look at China. Look at the Philippines. Look at these these third world countries where they got these uh, uh, these people slaving and making all the products that we buy. The clothes, the phones, yeah. the computers. And these people are slaves. They're not servants. They're slaves. They get paid maybe yeah. $2 a day and then that's outfit that they make, got paid two dollars it's gonna sell for 200 right <laughs> yep. right Same. and and those people can't even survive on the two dollars that they you know that they probably don't even get two dollars of what <laughs> it is that they that they uh create mm -hmm. with, with their hard labor yeah, yeah. Yeah, I found out something. It, I found out something so it, it is interesting and uh -huh. it was shocking to me. Uh, actually, just recent, just this weekend. Yeah, I have been trying to. <laughs> I have been trying to research and find out about my Native American um, um, ancestry heritage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I ran across some articles and information that even the Native Americans had us Blacks as slaves. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was that was shocking to me. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is it something up? Yeah. Yeah. And and, and look how one 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 group of people took the Indians and the blacks and made all of us slaves. Yeah. Yeah. Working the fields, working their fields. They making all the money while we're eating pig feet. They eating the pigs. They they eating the pork chop. We eating the feet and they eating the pork yeah. chop. Yeah. See? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They eating the chicken uh, thigh and we eating the chicken foot. The chicken feet. Wow. <laughs> Slaves. Wow. Slaves. Yeah, we get the was, leftover pieces of what they throw away. Wow. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. So even today, we can see Zedekiah. Just look at some of yeah. these these leaders. They're acting just like Zedekiah. Okay, we'll let you go, but then they bring you right back into what? Uh, slavery. Slavery. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. And it's not just a slavery in the physical, you can be a slave in your mind. Thoughts, yeah, ideas. Yeah. Someone could tell you something. You could 
and you grab a hold on it and you hold on to that to that lie, that manipulation. And now you are slave right. to it because you believed it. Yes. You're in yes. bondage. You're in bondage. You're in bondage. Yep. Say. All right. And that's not mm. how God created us. That's not his no. image. It's not his image. Sister Carrie, let's go to another scripture. Let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes. And let's take a look at chapter two, verse eight. And everyone, we want to thank you for being patient with us today. We haven't uh, had our little technical difficulties, so you may not get all of this lesson today, but you'll get the crux of it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter two, verse mm -hmm. eight reads, mm -hmm. I amassed silver and gold for myself and the treasure of kings and provinces. I acquired men and women singers and a harem as well, the delights of the heart of man. Mm -hmm. Wow. So the key word is male and female, or yours may say man and woman, still the same thing. Who's talking yes. about this couple now? And what are they saying about the couple? Who wrote this? Who wrote Ecclesiastes? Solomon. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, he's talking about um the riches that he acquired. Mm -hmm. He's talking about how he amassed silver and gold for himself in the treasure of kings. Mm -hmm. And um and he how he had acquired men and women singers and had a harem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the delights of a man's heart. <laughs> okay. You know, Solomon, you know, Solomon. Yeah. 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 So what I love about here that Solomon, how, look how he, look how he, he, uh, describes the male and female or the men and women in his kingdom, in his court. Solomon, although he first tells us about his wealth, right? Oh, I got all this gold. I got all this sip. Oh, man, I got all of that. Okay, that's good. But how are you treating your people? How are you mm. treating the people that's under you, Solomon? Look what he says about the men and the women. He said he even had them for what? Singers. Male yeah. and female singers. So he's to entertain not him. That, there you go. Yeah. So yeah. And, and, and they have to be doing it with joy because it said that what they when they sing, it's bringing delight to everybody else. So yeah. these singers are not slaves, are they? They're not slaves. They're singing. They're free. They're singing before the king. They're singing before the people. They are free. They were made in God's image to do what? Sing. Not to yeah. be a slave. See? Yeah. Yeah. See, at first, when you read about Solomon, Solomon wasn't a good king. He did have the people in slavery. But I love Solomon but as when he grew up and got some wisdom. When he finally got some wisdom, he started treating his people right. He started showing them some respect. Now he can showcase their talent. He got singers. You know, he's not beating, misusing his slaves, but he's giving them a what? opportunity to showcase their talents and gifts singer yeah, yeah. woohoo yeah so and solomon had to be good because god chose him to write ecclesiastes he wrote proverbs and he wrote the song of solomon so he had yeah. been pretty good <laughs> he was a good king he was good to his uh to his people wasn't he Yes, he was. Yeah. Yes, he was. Yeah. All right. So I love it as uh, I love it when the students are taking notes. So we're knowing that Sister Carrie is okay. taking notes. So <laughs> take your time because when you Thank finish, you. if you have anything else you want to add or any thoughts, let us know. Anything you want to add to this scripture? Um, no, not to this one. I'm just taking it in, Minister Love. Okay. I love it. I Thank love you. it. Because we're actually understanding why God made this couple, aren't we? We're, we're yeah. seeing why we need to be together. We're seeing why 
a, a male needs a female, a female needs a male in the form of procreation. But you can also have uh, uh, couples, you know, male and male, they can work together on the job. They could sing together. They could write a book together. You got females with females. They could sing together, write, but whatever, you know, but when it comes to procreation, you're going to need a what? Male and female. And female. You're going to need them too, because that's usual. That is a usual thing. All right, then let's take a look at first Samuel chapter eight. Oh, verse 16. This is, this is a good one. First Samuel 8, 16. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. And first Samuel chapter eight, verse 16 mm -hmm. reads. Okay. Your men servants and maid servants and the best of your cattle and donkeys he will take for his own. Mm -hmm. Who is Samuel talking about here? Samuel is talking about um Is he talking to the Israelites? Uh -huh. He's talking to the Israelites about them wanting a king. Remember how they want, we want a king, we want a king. And so, yeah. uh huh. And so now Samuel is relaying okay. a message to them about how this king is going to treat them. And yeah. who is this? King? Yeah, who's this king? <laughs> who's this king going to be? You remember? Yes. Uh -huh. Saul. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. So how is Saul now going to treat these male and female? How's he going to treat them? What did God say he's going to treat them like? <laughs> he's going to he's going to treat them bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Did you notice in the scripture? I, I love this. I catch this, uh, Carrie. Did you notice how Samuel described God's people? He described them as male servants yes. and female servants. He didn't say yes. slave. He didn't say slave. No. He said servants. So yes, here, it. here you got the servants now. Israelites, they got servants. That, that means people that's working for you, cleaning your house, cooking your food. You got butlers, you got maids, you got people to take care of your vineyards, your orchards. You know, you got servants. And, 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 and when you are a servant, you're not a slave. There's a difference between a servant and a slave. A servant does his, jo his job joyfully. He loves working. He loves coming to work, doing what a servant does. But yeah. But here, what's going to happen when Saul takes over, they ain't going to be no more servants. They're going to be slaves. Because he, yeah. the, Samuel said, Saul is going to now make, he's going to take you, your, all these servants, the male, the female servants, he's going to take your young men, he's going to take your donkeys, he's going to take all your animals, and he's going to do what? Put them to what? Work. In Work. other words, <laughs> he's going to make them slaves. They're going to yeah. slave for him. Are you seeing this, Carrie? Yes. This is unusual. Yes. This is not in God's image for us to be slaves. Servants, yes. I'll be a servant, but a slave, that's unusual. It's unusual. Yeah, because this time to be a servant was an honorable position. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Even uh -huh. to this day, even to this day, those that, um, the royals they 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 have uh, maid servants and men servants and mm -hmm. and those people they they highly honor their position sure do that's right yeah yeah they honor that and they love mm -hmm. doing it because they've been doing it for so long they don't see themselves as slaves they are what no. servants. servants yeah and they're very proud of their position 
Yeah. They're very proud to do, to be servants. Right. To to the royals. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because that's how God created us to be. He, he, he wanted Adam and Eve to be servants, not slaves. But but once you get an evil ruler, once you get someone that comes into power and they're wicked and they're corruptible, they can take something good and now make it what? Evil. We talked about that yes. last week. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you don't want to get up and uh, you don't want to get up and go to work no more because you feel like a slave rather than a servant. I hate this job. I hate this job. Mm-hmm. See? ooh -wee. See, Lord, see, everyone, this is why we love our one-on-one -on -one Bible studies, because we get to just talk one-on-one -on -one in the Bible with the Lord. You read, yeah. you learn, and you take notes. That's a good, that's a good quality, isn't it, Carrie? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Carrie say she's a servant. She is not a slave. She's a servant. No. I am a servant of God. And there you go. And proud of my position. And there you go. I love it. I love it. Kira, let's take, uh, Kira, yeah. let's take a look at the New Testament. Now, we saw how the male and female started out in the old. God started this thing. He put this couple together. And let's see, is this couple still activated in the New Testament? Let's take a look. Matthew 19, 4. Who's talking okay. and what are they saying about this couple, male and female? Okay. I'm sorry. I was finishing out that note. Oh, go ahead, honey. Take okay. your time. No rush. And we're going to Matthew. Uh-huh. 19. Matthew, chapter mm -hmm. 19, uh -huh. <clears throat> verse 4. Okay. And it reads, <clears throat> excuse me. Mm -hmm. And it reads, haven't you read, he replied, that at the beginning, the creator made them male and female. Mm. Who said this? Who's talking? This is Jesus talking. Sure is. And what does he have to say about the male and the female couple? Um, he's talking to the Pharisees and he's telling and he's talking about um well the the verse just above it was talking about that it was lawful for a man. Um they were talking about divorce. Mm-hmm. But mm -hmm. in chapter four, I mean, in verse four, he, he's talking about in the beginning that uh, male and female were created to be together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Jesus, he just confirmed what God said. He just yeah. made, he confirmed what his own father did. So Jesus is saying this is this is usual. From the, all the way from the beginning, the very first scripture we went to was Genesis one twenty seven. Jesus is quoting Genesis one twenty seven. Yeah. Even Jesus recognized that this is a couple and it's usual. It's meant for yeah. male and female. It, it they was not meant for a divorce. They wasn't no. meant to be separated. They wasn't Come meant on. to be divided. This is to be together. It's man, yes. it's man that acts up to make the divorce come about. That wasn't God's original intention. No, no. That wasn't was his that. intention. And Jesus mm -hmm. confirms it. Male yes. and female. Again, yeah. if you want procreation, you're going to need this couple. You're yes. going to need this couple. <laughs> if you want procreation. God, the creator knew what he was doing. <laughs> He knew what, okay. from the very beginning. He uh -huh. knew what the plan. He knew what uh -huh. it was about. Uh huh. Uh huh. He, 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 go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. I'm just agreeing with you. Mm -hmm. He knew what he knew what uh, what he had planned. He knew what he had planned. He mm -hmm. knew how how things were to work. How it was going to work. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Mm hmm. It's it's just like. 
our cell phones. Now, whoever created the cell phone that designed that cell phone, they knew that the cell phone had to have that little USB port at the bottom. And they knew you need a charger plug. Now, if you want that cell phone to keep working, that charger plug can't have a USB uh, same end as the phone. It got to have an extension. It got to have a plug at the end so it can fit in so you can get some what? Power. Yes. Same thing. Plug in a socket. Those two are a couple, just like male and female. Is it what? Couple. Couple. Yeah. It got to work. Two plugs ain't going to work. Your cell phone ain't going to work if you have, if have you no have no power. You ain't going to get no power. Sorry. Ain't going to no. get it. Ain't going to get it. You, yeah. try to, you try to put two phones together with the USB port together. You ain't going to get no power. Ain't going to work. Are you seeing this, Gary? Yes. Woohoo. Let's go to the last scripture, everyone. As Sister Carrie is making her notes, you can go ahead to the next scripture as she's going to follow us. And we're going to go down to Luke chapter 12, verse 45. We're going to take a look at our last scripture for today. Luke 12, 45. Okay. Okay, in our last verse for the day is mm -hmm. Luke chapter 12, verse 45, and it reads, But suppose the servants say to himself, My master is taking a long time in coming, and he then begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants and to eat and drink and get drunk. Oh, boy. Who wrote this parable? Who wrote this saying? Um, Luke wrote this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it's, and, and he's writing, but Jesus is speaking. It's Jesus speaking, and Luke is writing what Jesus wrote, isn't it? Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. And, yes. And, and Jesus is talking about the male and the female. What? What did he call them in the text? Male and female. What? Maid, men servants and maid servants. He didn't call them slaves, did he? No, he did not. But what did the what did the person that had these servants? What did he do to his servants? What was he doing? Because he got mad because. See what Jesus is doing here. He's giving us a like a parable of his coming back. Well, what are you going to do while you're waiting for Jesus to come back? If he left you in charge of people, how are you treating your employees? Because no. Jesus ain't, ain't coming back as fast enough. So all of a sudden, you no longer kind to them. You don't want to give them 401k. You don't want to give them sick days. You don't want to uh, uh, pay their social security or nothing. And now all of a sudden you want to beat them. Because if you're now beating your service, you're now making them into your what? They're no longer servants. They're going to be your what? Slaves. Slaves. Yes. That is not usual. No, it's not. It's unusual for you, for you to misuse and abuse the people that's working for you. Your servants. Yes. It's unusual. See? So as we as human beings, as we are on this planet, you're going to have to deal with males. We as females, you're going to have to deal with the male. You're going to have to deal with them. And the thing is, as couples, as males and females, how are we treating one another if we became their employer, if we are their doctors and lawyers and police officers and teachers, whatever your profession may be, how are you treating the people that's underneath you as a slave mm -hmm. or as a servant? Yeah. Yeah. And so many people, they beat you down. See, they ain't got to beat you. Jesus is not saying they got to beat you physically, but you can be beat down emotionally. Yes, you can. Uh -huh. And verbally. Verbally. Yeah. You can you can you can break a person mm -hmm. by uh -huh. um by how you speak to them and what you're speaking to them. 
Exactly. You, you exactly. can destroy. You can destroy a person's spirit, mm-hmm. and it's really sad to do mm-hmm. that to a person because after that, they're no more. Are you? Then they're they they lose life itself. Mm-hmm. You can see their whole their whole posture, the whole demeanor mm-hmm. will change. It it is a sad thing to see. It Ex- really is. Yeah, exactly. So we gotta be we gotta be. Uh, 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 conscious of how we treat yeah. our brothers and sisters. Yeah, we should really be conscious. You yeah. gotta be. If I think about going, yeah. in, it's like this ministry. When God called me to do Black Who Ministries, then when I when I started getting students, I can't I can't berate you. I cannot belittle you. Oh my God, you ought to know this scripture. You mean you don't know where that is? Oh my God, this is just horrible. You know how some people can be. Oh my goodness, you ought to know this. You don't know nothing about him or her. See, that's wrong. That's, that's wrong. Yeah. That's wrong. Yeah. See? Yeah. Now, now I'm making you, now I'm a be, now I'm being a slave master to, to you. I'm beating you up. Yeah. I'm beating you down. Yeah. Rather than yeah. encouraging you. Yeah. It, it, same thing with you, Sister Carrie. If you decide to go and to do a, a ministry yourself. You may want to get into some uh, a program yourself where you want to help other people. You got to think about you're dealing with males and females. How are you going to treat them? Like a slave? Or are you going to treat them like a servant? Mm-hmm. Are they are they going to be a servant for your for your for your uh, ministry, for mm-hmm. your mission? Cuz they can be good for you. You know servants can do you good. Yeah. They're, They'll give you a good report. They'll say good things about you because they love working with yeah. you. They love working with you. You treat them good. You're loyal to them. They'll yep. be loyal to you. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Sister Carrie, that's going to conclude the lesson for today on uh, episode number three, where we talked about this uh, unusual or were they a usual couple? They are usual couple, male and yeah, male yeah. and female, but they had some unusual things to happen to them. So yes, they did. Yeah, share with us. Uh, what did you learn on this lesson today? Uh, I learned that in the very beginning, at Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-seven, that mm-hmm. God created man in His own image. He also created female. And the scripture said that he creates them both in his image. He created male and female. Mm-hmm. And he had a plan in mind when he made them. Mm-hmm. Ah, I see my name back there. <laughs> <laughs> Want to give you a shout out? Miss Carrie is speaking. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. And then we went on to Jeremiah in chapter 34, verse 16. Mm-hmm. And the prophet Jeremiah was speaking about King Zedekiah and how he had originally set the people free as he was commanded by God. And then he changed his mind and enslaved the people again. Mm -hmm. Male and female, he had been taking them as slaves. They were, uh, is that where they were originally called maid servants and men servants? Mm -hmm. Men servants and maid servants. Mm -hmm. And, And now they're, yes. Yeah. And then um, and then in Ecclesiastes chapter two, verse eight, here Solomon uh, has male and female entertainers and mm-hmm. and he made he had male and female singers that created the delightful sound and song. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were doing a service right. as servants. Mm-hmm. And, in First Samuel chapter eight verse sixteen, Samuel is telling the people that they are going to be slaves and no longer men servants and maid servants under the kingship of of Saul as king. They they wanted a king, but mm-hmm. they didn't realize what they were asking for. <laughs> what they were asking for was to be under okay. the rulership of King Saul. <laughs> they were going to be enslaved. And, mm-hmm. um, and we, we were talking about the difference in being a slave and being a servant and how even today the role of a servant 
can be um, a, a respectful position. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so I'm really honored their position as servants. Right. Um, I, I'm grateful to be a servant of God. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, Carrie, what did he say? Well done, my good and faithful, faithful servant. servant. Ooh, that's what he my said. Goodness. Ooh, I think that's the word. Those are the words that every human being wants to hear. Yes. Oh, from God himself. Oh, my. Oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a good report. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. that's right. That's right. Okay. And then uh, second to last verse, um, the scripture was Matthew chapter 19, verse yeah. four. And Jesus, Jesus reiterated God's original intention when he created, he talked about the creation of man and uh -huh. of male and female, man and woman. He created them uh -huh. and he created them to procreate, to, to um, populate the earth. All right, now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the last scripture that we read um, was in Luke. It was mm -hmm. Luke chapter 12, verse 45. And mm -hmm. here, um, Jesus was the one who was talking. And mm -hmm. he was talking about, um, I didn't get to do notes on that one, but he was yeah. talking about... Um, Servants again, uh -huh. servants being men servants and maid main serv men servants and maid servants, uh -huh. and um and how this master was beginning to mistreat them. He was um uh, actually abusing them. He was uh -huh. abusing his power, and he was beginning to mistreat them after he ate and drank and got drunk. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so, um, but he would have to be accountable for that. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And, huh? uh, yeah. So that's what I got. <laughs> Well, you got a lot, and I hope the audience got a lot, too. And we do apologize for our technical difficulties today, but we did get some good scriptures in here. And so just like Sister Carrie just went through all of those scriptures, we got to see that the male and female was made in God's image, but we was made to be servants, not slaves. We were made to yeah. sing, not slaves. You know, we were meant to be free, not in bondage. Male yes. and female, because God is not a slave. God is not in bondage and we should be like him. Freedom, freedom yes. to yes. work for a good, uh, to work for a good uh, 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 person. You know, if you so you're yes. going to work for someone, choose someone that's going to treat you what? Good, because you're going to treat yes. them good. All right. Yes. All right, then, Sister Carrie, God bless you. Thank you for being here with us at BlockWhoMinistries.com, where we talk about couples in the Bible today, male and female. And so, again, we are Bible lovers, achieving Christ's knowledge, understanding, and wisdom, our weekly Bible study ministry. So join us next week, everyone. We got another great lesson coming up, episode number four. You don't want to miss next week, couple, as well. It's going to be a humdinger as we say in the South. All right, then. So with all of that being said, I'm Minister Love, and I will close us out in prayer. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, amen. In the amen. Dear Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, thank you so much for concluding this lesson with Sister Carrie and I today, and for those that tune in as well. Lord, we thank you for showing us the difference between the male and the female, the functions, but yet and still we are a couple. And you created us in your image to procreate, to enjoy life, to be singers, to, to be doctors, to be lawyers, to be servants, to be whatever that you called us to be. We can do it as a usual couple. So thank you. Bless us to carry. Bless uh, myself in the ministry and for everyone that's listening. Give them their heart's desire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Minister Love. That was oh, great. I thank enjoyed you. that. 
Oh, me too. Thank you to uh, Sister Carrie. And as we get ready for Black History Month that's coming up, you know, we uh, we do uh, Black History Month here uh, in America. This is something that will really resonate now that we understand male and female. How were we treated in, 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 in American history? How did how did these leaders, these presidents, these people so and churches? The churches was right along with them. Uh, uh, these yeah. these presidents wasn't by themselves. The churches was with them. And how they treated the male and female servants. They treated them as slaves. Wow. Mm -hmm. Something yeah. to think about. Something to think yeah. about. They need to get a lesson from Solomon. Treat us good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Then. Absolutely. All right then, Sister Carrie. God bless. See you next week. And take care. Goodbye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.